Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another morning prayer session of Sacred Heart Yoga. If you pray each day, this is the very best way that you can start any day for the rest of your life is through prayers, not just this type prayer, but any type prayer where you're sincerely walking in with God hand in hand as a little child learning each day through prayer. If you do it each day, it will change your life and you will become something in my mind that's spectacular. Each person is different, but you will become an elite servant in the house of God that paves the way for others to follow, that is a, a shining light for others to see and know. And it's a wonderful blessing that you can choose or not to choose to do. Well, we, I always begin by thanking God for this method of prayer. I thank you, God, God the one, God the oneness, God the father, God the mother. I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer this method of each of us praying aloud in the privacies of our own homes, our most personal concerns, walking as a little child hand in hand with God the Father holding our right hand, God the Mother holding our left hand in the world of oneness in the world of God. I thank you for allowing us to have this blessing. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and then a lady by the name of Virginia Ellen who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga, so that anybody in the world can practice this ancient method of prayer anytime they want. I thank you, God, and everyone else. Amen. Now we'll say the Sacred Heart Yoga prayer if you'll repeat after me. Beloved, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul. To the fulfillment of my destiny in service to the one. And I allow myself to be purified as I rejoice in the kingdom of heaven and the love of God. And I give thanks for these blessings, these moments I share with my body and my spirit in oneness. And so it is. Amen. Om. Oh. 
Now we're going to clear energy fields. This is just a, a simple method of clearing our minds of fears, of worries, of distractions, and really freeing ourselves of the fears that take us, that, that prevent our ability to love. And so we do this by putting our right hand up at the 12 o'clock position. Move it slowly over to the 3 o'clock position, the right knee, left knee, 9 o'clock position, and back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, repeat after me these words. I clear my energy field. of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them to the light. Om. Now we come to a very important part of the Sacred Heart Yoga where we ask God, how may we serve you this day? And this is very individual. All these prayers are for you, your personal heartfelt prayers said aloud in the privacy of your own home. So when we ask, God, when I ask God, how may I serve you each day? Generally, the answer comes to me in just one or two words. The, uh, and then I'll take those one or two words. Most of the time, I don't understand them at the very beginning. Sometimes it's a single image, too. But I don't understand them, but I repeat the two words throughout the prayers, bringing them in as often as I can, and then usually by the end of it, I have a, by the end of the Sacred Heart Yoga, I have a very good, clear understanding of what I am supposed to learn this day or do this day. And so we do this by putting our right hand over our hearts. And I'll say, and here our prayers begin with, which means it's a clue to you that you repeat the beginning of the prayer that I give you, and then you must finish it in your own heartfelt method, whatever is right for you. Praying aloud, toning at the end. So we take our right hands over our hearts, and our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Um. Now we're going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us as an oath that we will complete it. So we take our hands, palms forward, standing up straight and tall. And here... Our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you is to
Om. Now we're going to make this into an oath. An oath to God. In Aramaic, oaths were sealed by saying the word Amen three times. Each person would if they made an oath to each other. So here we're going to sing it aloud in whatever tone feels right to each of us in the privacy of our own home. Sing it aloud, as loud as you want, three times. Amen. 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 Now we sit back down on the mats and we'll lay down on our backs and we start in resting position and we go to the same resting position in between each of the different sets. <clears throat> so resting position is our arms at our sides, our feet outstretched. And we pull our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you, and I thank you for... Um... Now we hold our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat as best we can. Our right arm goes straight up over our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our right foot in our right hand, pull it down to our pelvis, holding it there. Our left arm this time goes straight up above our heads, stretched out and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you. And I thank you for... Oh. Now we take our right foot and point it up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we let that right foot go up to the heavens and fall out to the right side of our bodies down to the mat, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. And then we take our arms outstretched from our shoulders down to the mat, palms up, 
And here our prayers begin with, Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we turn our heads to the right and our right leg goes up over and across our bodies over to the left side and here our prayers begin with Father I truly love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, our feet outstretched. This time we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for... Um. Now we take our right left foot and our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh. Let our left knee fall down to the mat and our left arm goes stretched out straight above our heads and down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our left foot in our left hand or pull it down to our pelvis and this time our right arm goes straight up above our heads and down to the mat and our prayers begin with Mother, I love you and I thank you for
Now we take our left foot up to the heavens, keeping our right hand stretched straight out above our heads, down to the mat, our left foot straight up. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our left foot and let it go straight up to the heavens and fall out to the left side of our bodies and down to the mat opening our pelvis as wide as we can. And again, our arms fall straight out from our shoulders, down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the right. Nope, to the left, I'm sorry. Heads to the left. And our left foot goes straight up over across our bodies, over to the right side. And here our prayers begin with, Mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position and here we do we join our right masculine side and our left feminine side God the Father and God the Mother is in the oneness as the one God. We do this by pulling both knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you truly. And I thank you for
Now we take our right foot in our right hand, left foot in our left hand. And we pull them down to our pelvis, soles of our feet together. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I truly thank you for... Om. Now we pull our feet apart down near our pelvis and here our prayers begin with God, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now our feet go up to the heavens, and here our prayers begin with, God, I love you, and I thank you for... Om. Now we let our feet fall down to the mat near our pelvis and our arms get extended straight out from our shoulders again down to the mat, but this time our palms are down. And here our, nope, we turn our heads to the left and our knees go to the right, trying to extend our knees down to the mat while we keep our shoulders down on the mat flat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly love you, and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the right, our knees go to the left. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly love you. And I thank you for... Um. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. 
And next we go into the surrender pose where we surrender to God, God the Father, God the Mother, God the One, God the Oneness, whatever you feel comfortable with. We surrender to God anything that might be troubling us, bothering us, distracting us from our wonderful walk, hand in hand, learning from God. And we do this, we surrender any fear, anything, any distraction by sitting on our, our hands, under our sit bones, leaning forward on our elbows, our heads go back towards the top of our heads down to the mat as best we can. And then our, here our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you Um. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and our left hand reaches high up into the heavens and falls over to the right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder, and we take our right hand halfway between our right elbow and right shoulder and stretch it a little farther. And here our prayers begin with. God, being in service to you, I choose to Um. Now our right hand goes up to the heavens and falls over to the left side of our bodies, stretching our right shoulder. Our left hand goes halfway between our right shoulder and elbow, helping to stretch it a little farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, while I'm being only in service to you, I can. Oh. Now we go back to resting position and we pull our feet up to our pelvis. So down, you know, they're on the mat, pulled up to our pelvis and we let our knees open up and our soles of our feet go together. This forms a triangle. But think of it as a tabernacle, a house of God we form a second tabernacle by taking our hands in prayer position over our hearts and extending them up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle of our hearts, house of God, we find God's beautiful chalice 
It's brimming. It's overflowing with any gift that we could ever desire, want, or need to be in service to God, to the one, to the oneness. And so here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your wonderful chalice, your gifts to me of Oh. Now we take our hands in prayer position over our heads. down to the mat. Our arms, our shoulders go straight out to the sides. Down to the mat as best we can. And here are our prayers. Well, here we have formed a, a tabernacle over our whole bodies. And so our prayers begin with God, I thank you for teaching and healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Oh. Now we start the anointing series where we anoint these gifts that God's given us by drinking from his chalice. And we thank God for them. And we'll do this it's four positions but we'll repeat them anointing three different times. Any gift that you want, it can be the same gift over and over. You can anoint dozens of gifts if you want, whatever is right for you this day. But we take, our hands are always in prayer position while we're in the, this series, this three-part series. Our thumbs go to our foreheads, and here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gift to me of Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and hear our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gift to me of Oh. 
Now we take our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gift to me of Om. Now we take in this time the fourth position in each of the anointing series is a movement. We move our, we point our fingers down into our abdomens and we extend them out to the three o'clock position near our pelvis and then back up to the 12 o'clock position and then nine o'clock position and then back to our foreheads to begin the next series. So as we point our fingers into our abdomens, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your healing and teaching gifts of Om. Now we go back and we start the second in the series, anointing series, and here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gift to me of Om. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gift to me of Now we take our hands down over our hearts and here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for these gifts of all. Now we do the movement of pointing our fingers down into our abdomens. And here our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your knowledge, understanding, and healing gift to me of
Aum. Now we do it a third time. Take our thumbs to our foreheads. And here our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gift to me of Aum. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips. And here our prayers begin with God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gift to me of. take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and here our prayers begin with oh God I truly thank you for this wonderful gift to me of Aum. Now we do the motion of pointing our fingers into our abdomens, moving our hands out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul with your wisdom giving us understanding and healing through your gift to me of Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And here we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist, our fingertips touching our shoulders over our, our wrists or over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for protecting me, keeping me safe. Now we go back to resting position, roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into the sitting position using both our arms and our hands. And our right leg goes straight out in front of us. Our left foot goes across our right knee. We hold our 
left knee with our right hand and we put our left hand behind our backs for support and we twist to the left and here are our, with our head and shoulders and here our prayers begin with desire I am desire I am desire I am only in service to you, God, I desire to. Um. Now we switch legs, left leg goes straight out in front of us, our right foot goes over our left knee, our left arm holds our right knee, and our right arm goes behind our backs, twisting our head and shoulders to the right. Here our prayers begin with, Will I am, will I am, will I am. Only in service to you, God, I will. Um. Now we get up on our knees. Put our hands over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for Um. Now we form a tabernacle with our hands by putting the tips of our thumbs together and our first tips of our first two fingers together. And we'll put them down on the mat and we'll go into child's pose with our forehead in this tabernacle. And here we just spend just a little bit of time feeling God fill every cell in our bodies with his wisdom, our understanding, and our healing. Um, now 
we sit back down. And this time our right leg goes out to the right side. Our left foot comes into the inside of our right thigh. Our prayers here begin with God, only in service to you, I am. Om. Now we take our left leg out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, only in service to you, I can and I will. Now we go back to sitting position. Put our back straight, our, our hands are on our knees, palms up, thumbs are supposedly touching our middle two fingers. That's not as important as keeping our back straight and bending forward at our pelvis, bowing. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, giving my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul wisdom, understanding, and healing. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall, and we bow a second time at our pelvis, leaning forward, and here our prayers begin with, God, I bow to, I bow to you, God the Father, God the Mother, God the One, God the Oneness.
Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall and we feel where we're grounded down to the mat that we're sitting on. We feel the left side and right side of our pelvis touching the mat. And on the left side of our pelvis, we envision God's wonderful white light coming into our bodies. This is the feminine traits of love, of nurturing, of creating new life. This white light represents in human terms. Love and creation of new life. And this white light fills every cell in our legs. And it fills all the way to the tips of our toes, shining out through our toes. And this white light comes up into our abdomens, filling every cell and every organ in our bodies. Then the white light comes up into our hearts, and our hearts glow like a shining beacon to the world. And the white light comes up through our throats into our heads, filling our minds with God's peace and love. And the white light goes out the tops of our heads up into the heavens, high, high up, and it spreads out over the entire earth and rains down God's love on all living creatures. Now on the right side of our pelvis, we feel God's beautiful blue light of wisdom, giving us understanding and healing. This blue light fills every cell in our legs. It fills all the way to the tips of our toes, and it comes up into our abdomens, filling our abdomens to the fullest, every cell in our abdomens with knowing how to heal. This blue light comes up into our hearts. Giving us the knowledge circulating through our whole bodies. The knowing, the truth, the wisdom. The blue light comes up into our throats and into our heads, filling our minds with truth. And it goes out the tops of our heads, up into the heavens above, and it goes really high and spreads out over the entire earth, blanketing the entire earth. And it rains down with God's love, God's truth. Now we can step up into the light above our heads, into the kingdom of heaven on earth, or the kingdom of light, whatever you want to call it. We step up into the light, and here we can ask any question that we so desire that's in our hearts. And we can stay here as long as we want. But while we're here, before we leave, we want to ask one question, and that is, God, what do I need to know this day?